Let's meet the starters. Number one, Click Click Boom, is owned by Crystal Lappy of Springfield and D.M. Jones of New Berlin, trained and driven by Richard Lappy. Number two, Rocky Fedora, owned, trained, and driven by Robert Red Clark of Granite City. Number three, Heather Dune, owned by Katie Duncan of Godfrey, trained by John Cisna. The driver is Tim Bredberg. Number four, Dancing for Dollars, is owned by John Giannoulis of Andalusia, by Bill Wright of Morton, Dirk Simpson of Springfield, and Dennis and Kevin Lacomey's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. Number five, Ricochet Pete, owned by Morris and Joan Brown of Sedalia, Missouri, trained by Charles Allen Finn. The driver, again, should read Morris. It is Morris Brown on number five. The sixth new jackpot is owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrich of Jeff, trained by T. Tietrich, driven by his father, Tom Tietrich. Number seven, Never Pass, is scratched. Number eight, Backstroke Boy, owned by Ken Schrock of Arthur, by Tina Schrock of Springfield and Dale Richardson, trained by Rick Schrock with Rick and the Bike. Number nine, Riverside, Joni is scratched. And number 10 is Brookview Snag. The owners are Tony Alanya, formerly of Urbana, now of Sanford, Florida, Harold Carter of Williamsville, and Irv Miller of Springfield. Andy Miller is in the bike. They are at the post. The gate's rolling for today's second race at DuCoin. Here they come. They are off and trotting. Brookview snag for the lead. Dancing for Dollars is right there. New jackpot and then click, click, boom, showing some speed down toward the rail and now benefiting from that ground-saving trip. Click, click, boom, moves up to challenge. Dancing for Dollars. Midway on the first turn. New jackpot settles third. Brookview snag is three wide in the center of the pack. He moves up into fourth. Rocky Fedora is against the rail in fifth. Then Ricochet Pete is sixth. Heather Dune is seventh. And Backstroke Boy is eighth. But he's right there as they go on by the quarter in 29 and three-fifths seconds. It is Dancing for Dollars who has made the top by a length and a half. Click, click, boom, is second entering the back stretch. New Jackpot goes third. Brookview Snag is against the rail now in fourth. There goes Rocky Fedora moving up fifth on the outside now to take fourth. Some four lengths off the lead. A break of five more lengths back to Ricochet Pete, joined by Heather Dune, and then Backstroke Boy behind that duo. They are at the half with Dancing for Dollars leading it, but Rocky Fedora is right alongside the leader now, and here comes Brookview Snag moving up with cover in third around the outside of Click, Click, Boom. They got the half in 59 and two. Into the far turn, Dancing for Dollars leading Rocky Fedora by only a neck. And then Click, Click, Boom is third by a half length. Brookview Snag is up on the outside and fourth, followed by New Jackpot, Backstroke Boy, Heather Dune, and Ricochet Pete. They are at the three quarters, and Dancing for Dollars still leads it by a length. Brookview Snag is three wide now to take second, still a length and a half off the lead. Click, click, boom, needs room. He's trapped on the rail in third. They got the three quarters in 129 and one. Dancing for Dollars is chased off the turn by Brookview Snag. Click, click, boom, and Backstroke Boy up on the far outside. New jackpots diving toward the rail. It's still wide open. Backstroke Boy down the center of the track with Brookview Snag up to challenge Dancing for Dollars. Backstroke Boy just broke stride, and he goes wide in the final 16. Dancing for Dollars still leads it. Brookview Snag is second. Dancing for Dollars turns back every challenge to win at three parts of a length. Brookview Snag second. New jackpot up the inside for third in one minute, 59 seconds flat. Sickle Marker Farms, the racing name of Dennis and Kevin Lacomey based in Chicago Heights. And that makes the second straight win for Mystical Marker Farms to start today's card. Folks, here's the winner unofficially for race two. How about a hand for Dancing for Dollars, Mr. Dirk Simpson. Dirk's father, Buddy Simpson, of course, was inducted to the Illinois Harness Horsemen's Association Hall of Fame back in December. And Dirk has left his Fairfield home now and long since relocated to the Springfield area where he trains his stable at the state fairgrounds and where he has developed a number of Illinois champions. 
Results still unofficial, 4-10-6 on the second race.